Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for Money Mondays JA brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth and filmed here at iCreate Studio. Now you may have heard the term stock split in the news recently. Shareholders of Jamaican Teas recently approved another stock split for the company. So you may be wondering what that even means and why would a company do it? Well, let me start by asking you a very simple question. Would you prefer a hard $1,000 bill or two $500 bills? They're exactly the same amount of money, right? So for most people, it wouldn't make a difference. It's still $1,000. They're of equal value and they can buy the same things. Well, that's the same result of a stock split. Let's say a particular company has just done an IPO and sold a million shares in the company to you, the public. At the time of the IPO, the shares were worth $5 each. So the company shares are worth a total of $5 million. Now time goes by and the company is doing well. And let's say after five years, those shares are now worth $50 each. Not unheard of in Jamaica in these past five years. Anyway, that means the company's total shares are now worth $50 million. Now here's the problem. Some of you looking at this company, it looks good, you want in, but you're thinking, oh, $50, that's kind of pricey. And if you only have, say, $1,000 to invest, that's only going to get you 20 shares. So even though you know it's a good company, you just have like this mental block against spending that kind of money. And you decide, you know what, let me go with something cheaper. I'm going to buy 1,000 shares in another company for a dollar each. I'm rich, I now have a thousand shares rather than just 20. It may not be the same quality type of company and you may end up with less returns, but like I said, it's just a mental thing. So the company in our example, recognizing this, might notice that their shares aren't trading much. People are for some reason staying away from it. They're not buying because they think the price is too expensive. So that company might decide, well, let's make the share price cheaper by doing a stock split. And there are many ways a company can split its stocks. They can do a two for one stock split. They can do three for one, five for one, three for two. Any ratio that you can think of hypothetically can be done. In our example, let's go with a five for one stock split. Now the company is now going to give you five new shares for every one share that you own. But splitting those shares also means splitting the value, splitting the price. Remember, one share was worth $50. Now they've divided that one share into five shares. So now those five shares are worth $10 each. Now we have five shares worth $10 each rather than one share worth $50. It's the exact same value, six or one, a half a dozen out of other. So for shareholders, it really makes no difference. And it also doesn't affect the overall value of the company because even though there are now more shares in the company, the value per share is less. So it works out to the same thing but it may work out to the benefit of the company because now that the shares are cheaper, it may make some more people interested in buying. That same person who said, nope, not spending $50, might decide, sure, $10, I'll buy. Next thing you know, there's more activity on the market for this company again. People are buying and selling it again. This increases the company's liquidity, which is the ability of people who want to sell to get cash for their shares. Next thing you know, the share price gone back up. You might hit the psychological hurdle again and decide to do another stock split. But along the way, shareholders have gotten more value rather than the price staying stuck at the original $50. Now, what I just explained is exactly what happened to Jamaican teas. And other companies have done this too. This is actually the third time Jam Teas is doing a stock split. They did one in 2016 and another in 2017, and now their shareholders have just approved another one. In an article in the Business Observer, Jam Teas chairman John Jackson explained the rationale for the stock split. He said, there seems to be market resistance whenever the stock hits the six to $7 mark. 
people for whatever reason just don't want to buy it above that price and it closed recently at six dollars and 27 cents so they're doing this time a uh, three for one stock split and it will be effective from the close of business on april one so whatever the shares are worth at the close of business on april one that number will be divided into three so for ease of math let's say the shares are worth six dollars each on that day on april two they'll be worth two dollars each but there will be three times as many shares so on april one if you have a thousand shares in jamaican teas worth six dollars each on april two you will have three thousand shares worth two dollars each which still adds up to the same that's all it is simple now that's it for this episode of money mondays ja brought to you in partnership with proven wealth thanks for watching follow me on instagram at kalila ray and subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash kalila ray if you like this video hit that like button and share with a friend and then watch taking stock travel anywhere in jamaica in less than 60 minutes that's the goal of Fly Oriole Airlines, seeking to hit the skies next year. We'll hear from CEO Keith Carr. And later, the analysts weigh in on the latest stock market developments. Earnings season has started. What are the reports looking like so far? I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you later.